Now, little disclaimer. If you honestly don't like seeing a fat girl eat while they're hungover, just scroll on. Be kind. I started off with a McDonald's breakfast. Double sausage and egg McMuffin and a hash brown. Then I went on a walk and had to down some water. I went and got a Fanta Frozen, a strawberry one from the <sighs> best garage. And I was they're like 600 calories, dude. The Frozen, these Slurpee things, they're so high in calorie. And if it's really hot out, I can understand that drinking one of these when it's like really, really high, spicy and hot. But you know what's the best when it comes to the hottest days ever? Water. Cold water, maybe, perhaps. You can probably get a cup of ice somewhere for free. You don't even need to spend money on it most of the time. But for somebody like Becky, obviously for somebody that needs to consume high-ass calories. And by the way, Becky, I'm sick of people sending me pictures of you without the filters on. And I see the absolute absurdity of the way that you look compared to the way that you look in your videos. Why, like, what if you have to do anything in your life where somebody takes a picture of you? It's gonna be very, very jarring to see you outside in the public when my naked eyes can consume all of your, all of it. And it, it, is, it is very concerning to see all that, all the extra oomph upon your body at any given point in time. Now, there's nothing wrong with being bigger, but it's just interesting how Becky chooses to display herself. It's literally modern. I don't know what it's gonna be like in the next hundred years if we're literally seeing like AI generated faces already and filters literally changing up somebody's entire physical shape and look. I don't know what it's gonna be like in a hundred years. Could it be that we're just literally gonna see what we wanna see on everybody? Like everybody's just gonna be walking around, but because we can like artificially glaze our eyes with like filters already pre already already on our eyes man everybody's gonna look so gorgeous cons consistently but when we take off those filters they're all gonna look like Danny DeVito fusion dancing with uh maybe like Steve Buscemi yeah but those two guys I think they're pretty attractive especially Danny DeVito Danny DeVito but the problem is like when you look like you're 60 for the whole for your whole life that's an issue so, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Regardless, um, I see tons and tons of pictures of Becky. People link them to me all the time. And they just consistently, maybe you're seeing a picture of her right now on your screen. She looks so different whenever she shows herself off in her videos compared to when people show me her outside in the public. I also got some snacks. I had some Doritos. I want to know if anybody actually buys the small bags of Doritos because like already buying, I don't know where Best you guys live, but being here where I live, a bag like this would literally run you 250 or more depending on where you were get, getting the bag. And to me, it just doesn't seem really worth it, dude. Um, wouldn't it just be better to actually make the food in your house instead of just sitting there and like going to, I don't know, like she's probably Uber eating this. Can you Uber Eats chips? Probably. I don't know. Like they... I've seen literally people Uber Eats like toothpaste, so I wouldn't be surprised that you can get chips too. But you know what? There are worse things. And you know what? The other day, I feel like – I really feel like we have gone too far when it comes to apps and delivery services nowadays. Like, okay, so there are prostitutes, right? Obviously, you can indulge in the art of buying vagina, which is fine if that's what you want to do. I'm totally in support of sex work if that's what you want to do as long as it's safe. Um, but – I found out the other day that there's an app where young men, preferably young men, or men under the age of 40, I think, uh, can be auctioned off to elder women, women that are in their 80s or 90s or maybe even their 70s, that don't have the company of their menses anymore, or maybe they just don't have the time to accrue a man or a relationship. So what they do is they hire dudes that dress up as plumbers, and they'll come over to your house, all through an app, by the way, they'll come over to your house, and they'll hang up your curtains. <clears throat> they'll hang up a painting for 45 minutes if that's what you want them to do. Um, if you wanted to, you know, fix the plumbing. I've seen videos of these women, like, drinking glasses of red wine, watching men hanging up curtains. And you know what, dude? Look, that is the objectification of men. We objectify women all the time by looking at their butt cheeks and telling them, wow, you have great ovaries. But... Men don't ever get objectified. This is finally equalizing the sexes. Men are finally being objectified, and I'm okay with it. If you want to hire a guy 
that looks like he works on like plumbing all day he's got like stains on his shirt like that white t-shirt that he's wearing and he's got like the i don't know like the wranglers on his fucking on his pants and he's got the belt with the hammer dude that's great if that's what you want to do you want to pay him 44 dollars an hour to to hang up your curtains even though your curtains have already been hanged up for like the last i don't know anybody that even buys curtains anymore these ones have literally been in my room for like six seven years at this point I, I don't even, why would you need anything more than this? Like, maybe you want to spruce things up, but what's the point? I don't get it. But you know what? I'm not really impressing anybody. But I do hope you like these curtains. They have a monkey on them. His name is Felix. I also got some snacks. I had some Doritos. Then I had the Saucy Barbecue Space Raiders. Dude, a lot of chips in, uh, in Becky's diet and i disagree with chips most of the time because it's just extra calories and if you are going to eat these extra calories it would probably be preferable to eat them at the end of your meal so that way when you do eat your meal you're most of the time full or at least at pinnacle and when you eat the chips you're not going to be eating that much and also it kind of pisses me off that she's buying the small bags of chips why didn't you just buy the enlarged ones so that way you could well maybe she didn't like finish them off i don't know whatever i haven't had these in ages and a bloody you lot. know i don't care when becky says she doesn't have she hasn't had things in ages i haven't had this in ages so you know i had to get it it it's so good oh my god don't even it don't even matter that two days ago i did have the different spice invaders oh i had the sweet and sour cream spice invaders so the barbecue sauce ones oh oh my god chef's kiss anyway i'm, I'm down four bags i'm not going to show you that though and i'm probably going to cut this out of the video but i did i downed literally not even playing with you four bags of spice invaders and then i had some then i had some bruce cake on the side so yes it was good of course and I, you know i sucked down some donna meat after that too then and then I had literally one piece of my crunch bar. One piece? Like the whole box? Like out of the box? Like this was a piece of the box? Big piece. <laughs> Damn. Then for tea, guys, I got like the ultimate takeaway. I found somewhere that done one of these munchy boxes. With uh, uh, what the fuck? Uh, it looks gross. It looks like the guy that served it to you made a little bit. He kind of mistook this for maybe the sample jar. If you know what I'm talking about, dude. He was making a donation somewhere. Why is it so thick, though? Damn, man. They real deal know that Becky's coming through. So they're just going to throw this shit together. It doesn't look good. Donna meat, chicken, kofta, chips. You know, I'm going to keep it a buck. I didn't watch this video beforehand, but it kind of seems like Donna meat is becky's go-to whenever she eats any of this slop it's almost always done on me onions now when i say i couldn't even eat a quarter of it i literally couldn't yeah she couldn't eat quarter of it because she ate all of it the quarter was not enough so she needed to eat all of it just literally the entire thing i think i had about five mouthfuls that's so later on i opened my tony chocoloni little egg I need to get some more of these to do a video Why? on because honestly, oh, they're so good. I had one of these. I had the green one. Okay. And that was like, I think it had like little hazelnut pieces in. Damn. But yeah, it was. Whenever I see fat people laying down, it's always the most crazy looks, dude. Because like all their, because like when you're standing up, gravity is forcing you down naturally. But when you lay down, the gravity is like forced back upon your face. And you have so much weight on your face. Like a lot of people sleep on it. You could possibly be stacking a good 10, 15, 20 pounds on your face at any given moment in time. Which is really concerning given like a lot of people have no idea what they look like. And they've been fat for their whole life. So they just never know what they look like. But regardless of that, when people, when fat people lay down, it's, it's incredibly crazy to see. Their faces melt on the pillow. And when they get up, it's like a stain. Like they left a residue on the pillow after they get up. Foodie day and it's allowed, as always. True. But yeah, love you all. I love how she was going to take a bite out of it and then it just kind of like drifted into her mouth completely. <laughs> it's Chippy Tea Night. So let me show you what I got from the Chippy. Oh, Becky. Um, right, anyway, got some they do they do wrap it pretty well in the uk i don't know why she refuses to get a, a regular plate size over there i'm i'm just anytime i see this woman eating this food i always think 
okay eat your food you need to get better serving size plates because the plates you get are way too wide becky they're too big way too massive for the food that you're eating you literally fill up the plate not only are they wide but they're deep you can put a ton of food in this shit dude you're literally eating out of like three dog bowls barbecue ribs are obsessed with these from this chick eh? damn she got a lot of back she got a lot of jaw dude i know it's not real jaw but it's like it's so much Oh, they're a little bit hot. I love these from here. I love right. it. It's so, so good. These. I don't like ribs because I'm eating around the bone. Like, what is the purpose? You're just adding extra steps. It's like lollipops. Like, I don't want the stick. I just want the candy. And I understand there are people out there that can't deep throat or, like, they're scared that they might choke on the food. Dude, get over it, okay? Become an adult. Get a caffeine addiction. Stop being a bitch. Eat the fucking have actual candy okay dude don't don't sit there and try to like deep throat the shit thinking that you're cool because you have a stick on it. it's not cool same thing with the ribs i get it you're at a you're at a black guy barbecue maybe there's a whole bunch of ribs there chicken wings and burgers and things like that but forget about that okay we're not doing that shit anymore get rid of the bones bones are irrelevant they you know like they'll sit there and they'll go we'll, we'll weigh out the food no the fuck you won't dude get the meat off first and then take the bones out and then weigh it because I'm not actually getting all the meat. I'm getting bone too. And do you think I'm sitting there sucking on the bones? I'm not. And the only time I've ever seen bones actually do something good is like, you ever see, I remember one time, right? When I was like 16 years old and I was going into a KFC, which I haven't stepped foot in probably more than 10 years at this point. And there was a woman in there. She was an overweight woman, black woman. Her wig was atrocious. Her eyebrows were non-existent. And the floor was greased beyond belief. Like, I swear, um, if you walked in there and you didn't slip, there was going to be a problem. I don't know what kind of shoes you were wearing. But this woman was having, like, a chicken leg. And she put it in her mouth. And when I tell you there was no chewing involved, it, like, went into her mouth and almost, like, evaporated the meat solid right off the bone and pulled it out. And it was clean. It was absolutely clean. There wasn't even, like, a morsel of meat left on that. And the only thing I could think about was... I wonder what would happen if my meat was in that shit, right? That's what I was thinking about. But, of course, I don't know how old I was at the time. Probably around 13, 14 years old. So, it wasn't practical for me and this young lady. I don't think she was a young lady. She might have been 30 or 40 at the time, but it doesn't matter. I, all I think about was that. That's the only time it's ever been good for me. I don't fuck with bones. Bones are irrelevant. I only eat the tenders. I'm never going to go and buy chicken wings or chicken legs. I, I think you're dumb if you sit there and you prefer the bone. Why? why you're eating around the meat that should, i mean it doesn't make any sense like you're and making extra steps and in some places they charge you extra for that shit i don't understand it personally dude it doesn't make sense to me same thing with the ribs what am i doing i'm getting like a fraction of the meat and i'm eating it around the rib what's the point i don't know how nice they look we'll go for one damn damn that's enough that's good that's good becky that's good no no that's good that's good Becky, Free. that's good. That's good, Becky. Come on, chill back, chill back, chill back. Look at that one. That's really oh. saucy. Oh, Becky. Four. Four. That's right, more so than enough. Them. And then in here. What's that? We've got some chips. Oh, it's always the chips. I keep forgetting about the chips, dude. I don't know if people know this or not. But if you're going to get food and you have to have french fries with every single food choice you have... That's irrelevant. You're irrelevant to me. I don't like you anymore. Why do you have to have French fries after every single food choice? And by the way, it's not a normal food to have when you're eating ribs. And it's not a normal food to have when you're having Chinese food. I don't know why so many people think it's okay to have French fries when you eat Chinese food. That's, that's, that's gross. That doesn't make any sense at all. As well. So let's pop these on. Do you know what I forgot to Damn, order? that's a fuck ton, Curry dude. Sauce, but Damn, that's a lot, Becky. Chill right, back. There we go. And we have some. How much more do you need, though? Like, is this not a fuck enough? Literally four ribs or five ribs or however much and half the serving of fries, which is probably like a thousand calories in and of themselves. And then, like, what else could there possibly be? This is why this woman is so ungodly levels of overweight. She just, like, refuses to eat normal portion sizes. And she's being encouraged by these ginormous goddamn plates. Dude, look how big these things are. Fried right? Why do you have fried rice? What is this fucking menu? Where did you go to get this food, dude? Fried rice, french fries, and ribs? Where did you go? What is this? Would you go to like four different restaurants to get all this shit? So much. <laughs> God damn. That's 
that's Maybe. that's more than Maybe. enough, Becky. Chill, back. I have got. What else could there be, bro? What the fuck? You literally have two different sides. Why do you need even more? How do you just keep pulling bags? What the fuck is going on? What is that? What the fuck was that? What did you just pull out? What is that thing? What is this? A deep fried BBC? What did you get? What is this thing? A buttered sausage. No. A buttered sausage? They deep fried a sausage for you? What size is that thing, bro? That thing gotta be BBC. That's crazy, bro. Look how big that shit was. That shit is big as fuck. That thing gotta be at least eight inches. Am I wrong? You could double stack that. Damn, man. Why the fuck you need deep fried sausages? A buttered sausage, no. I need to put some barbecue sauce on, so. You gotta put barbecue sauce on this shit too? Oh my god, Becky! If you don't oh my god! <laughs> I'm just looking at this, and then I see an apple over here, and I'm just thinking like, you know, you could have easily ate the apple, and that would have been good for you. This doesn't even look good. Did you put barbecue sauce on the on the rice too, Becky? Becky, we need to have an intervention. We need to sit down and we need to talk real quick. This plate is way too fucking big. You literally sitting here with all this food. You know, you ever make food when you're really, really hungry and you think you're going to eat way more than you actually do. And then when you eat the food, you realize you made way too much. And then you're basically going to have to eat that for the next like day at least. So I feel like it's like that with Becky, except she's up for the challenge and she's going to body slam it for the meal. And I guess there's an upside to that. Like she doesn't waste food. Sure. Fine. Whatever. But that's also not good given the fact that Becky is big, massive individual. So it's obviously a detriment for her. Telling me that is a 10 out of 10. Uh, I don't know about that, dude. What By what estimates are you meaning 10 out of 10 in terms of what? Like the size of the plate? Like the heftiness of the plate itself? Yes. It's a 10 out of 10 on the heaviness. Why? Yeah. You can literally curl this plate. It's probably like 20 pounds. Let's go and talk in. I've also got a few prawn crackers as well, which I'm going to put Why on. you have crackers too? Crackers too? Why you need to crack? Well, you couldn't have two or three apples? That would have been way better than this. My tray. Well, Love a chippy tea. Ooh. You Damn, dude. The tongue coming out is crazy. My Hold on. Let me see the tongue real quick. Well, Love a chippy tea. Ooh. You like the tongue comes out when she eats is insane, dude. Dude, she has no pores. Where, where are the pores upon your face? Where, Becky? Why do you have... I don't know why this woman just refuses to not use any camera that doesn't have a filter. I, I understand that maybe she has some insecurities, but is this really the wave? Because, like, people have taken pictures of this woman out in the public, right? Out in nature. Out in mother nature, dude. With your naked eyes and you see her and you go, Oh my god, that's a, is that Becky? Dude, you can't even see the indentation above her eyes or, like, where her eyes go in. It's literally just one solid platform. Okay. Mm. And I love the ribs. Damn. Battered sausage, which is one of my favorites. Dude, from it's literally a deep fried sausage. I've never heard some shit like this before in my life. We don't have this shit over here. Chippy. Damn. Dude, she gotta close her eyes to eat it. Like she's embracing it. You know what I'm talking about? Like she has to she has to really like build up the strength to put it in her mouth. So she has to close her eyes to like ah Damn. Well, I hope you're all having a great weekend, a great Saturday night. Dude, that blood got to be moving through like solid bricks, dude. Like, like, like traffic at 5 or 6 p.m. And let me know what you got for your tea. But yeah, happy chippy tea. Damn, dude, the crackers too. Mm. Hi, everyone. Oh, my Dish God. Out tea with me and I have made a grazing tea. Do you think that she has like, you think the teeth are whitening too? You think that the, the filters be whitening the teeth too? Because I see a lot of whitening on the teeth, and I know our girl here, she ain't taking care of herself properly, obviously. I don't think her teeth are going to be that white. Very beautiful eyes. I'll give her that, dude. Um, thick eyebrows. Very thick eyebrows. I truly think Becky could be a very, very pretty girl. The problem is she weighs three times more than what she should weigh. Oh, well, a cheese board. You know what I mean. Damn, bro. Whew. 
a lot of carbohydrates on this shit. The problem I have when people have these like charcuterie boards or whatever you want to call these things is if you leave these out, how long do you think you have to leave these shits out? An hour, maybe two hours at most. These shits are going to – if you leave this out for two hours, bro, these these cucumbers right here are going to be glazed down. They're going to be like flaccid. Um, kind of like, you know, like what your, your boyfriend's, your boyfriend's penis when he finds out you're on your period or so whatever, like, it's like that, like it's going to be sloppy. It's like French fries from McDonald's after 10 minutes. Uh, the, the uh, damn, these strawberries big as fuck, dude. And she got obviously the chocolate over here. She's trying to hide that shit. Um, just excuse the light in, but yeah, I've done all this. It looks what is this? So tasty if I do say so. But just a solid block of cheese is kind of crazy. Like, what am I even supposed to do with that? We've got pate. Dude, she she made the pepperoni into a rose. I'll I'll give her that one, dude. Good job on that. All different crackers, some cucumber, grapes, strawberries. Tri I had to do a trizzo rose. Um, all different types of crackers, some sauces. I just put them there. What is that thing? What the fuck is this shit? Extras. Got some nuts. Is that um, ice cream? All different cheeses. There's so many. That's my favorite. Cranberry. I just left that like that. I've never heard of cranberry cheese before. That does not sound good. Let me know if that sounds good to you. Um, but yeah. There is loads on there. We've got some chocolate nuts as well. Olives <laughs> jotted around. Peppers. Okay. But yeah. That is my cheese board. So let's dish it out. Right. It's always horrible. Is it just for you? How come every time I see her setting one of these up, I never see anybody else eating them besides her? Is it just her? Does her family get involved in this shit? And if they do, how much are they eating of this? Because Becky, real deal, just be setting this shit up, and she's always first dibs at the bare minimum. But like I said, I've never seen anybody else sit down here and body slam this shit. I've only ever seen her. That is my cheese board, so let's dish it out. Right, it's always... I'm already concerned, dude. Uh, this is a cheese dip, and she got the chips. She got the fucking chips, dude. Horrible touching it because you don't want to touch Oh, man, she got the big bowls, bro. Yo, I promise these plates got to weigh like five pounds, dude. These plates are thick as fucking hell. Because, yeah. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to take some crackers. Okay. I got these ones from Costco yesterday. I've used the multigrain and the crispy sea salt. Damn, so, and what, you got them yesterday and you already used up two fucking, two, two big things of crackers? God damn, Becky. But looking forward to trying them. So I've got a few. Okay. There's only so many times you could look forward to eating something like this. Mom, then I'm gonna have a few blocks of the cranberry okay. cheese because that's my favorite. Some crisp. Oh, slowly getting destroyed. Um. Meat wise, I'm gonna have some. Oops, and um, some salami. That, that did not I'm look good. I'm gonna have some red Leicester cheese. More cheese. Well. Um, Damn, that double chin kind of looking crazy, bro. And I want some pate. Oh, I'd be feeding. I used to feed my cat that. I used to feed my cat that pate, dude. My cat used to love the pate because it had a lot of gravy in it. And my cat liked the gravy on the side, dude. I'm just going to put it on my plate. I guess, like, is that, yeah. is that that fancy feast? Mm -hmm. I it's guess like maybe spot. fancy feast is not too bad when you're Becky. I, you know, to be honest, like, it's probably just like 98% of the things you eat already is probably worse than fancy, fe fancy feast. So you might as well get that fancy feast, Barbecue dude. Barbecue brisket ham. I would probably eat fancy feast. I would probably. You know what? I remember one time when I was a kid. I remember I was watching a show called CSI. I don't know if you guys remember that show, CSI. And there was an episode where, you know, at the start of the episode, they, they show the crime. And then they'll, like, during the episode, they'll solve that crime. But I remember there was this episode where this girl went to the grocery store. And I guess she was poor. And she couldn't afford any food. So, I guess because she couldn't afford any food, she went to the, the cat food aisle. And she bought, like, three cans of cat food. And then she took it home to eat. And I was thinking, like, because I have a cat, right? And I understand that there's inflation because this show took place in like 2004, 2005, 2006, right? But I was thinking about how she bought like three cans of this cat food and she didn't even eat it. Like she was like trying to eat it. Like she put a spoon in there and she was like eating it. And she was like, oh, oh, it's so gross. It's cat food. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like why? You couldn't buy like some bread. You couldn't buy like a dollar loaf of bread, dude. I used to literally go into the store and get a dollar bread. Like that, that's, it used to be a dollar. You can get some Oscar Mayer bologna for like a dollar fifty and you're good. 
that's literally a sandwich. You can eat that shit for like three days, bro. No joke. Three days worth of fucking sandwiches. You guys are sleeping on that shit, okay? I grew up on bologna. And I was just thinking about this, right? This fucking dirty bitch really sat there and ate cat food. And then she got hit by a car, which I was proud about. I mean, it's not a good idea to get hit by cars. But in the show, I was like, this. why are you so dumb? You literally walked by the bagels. You walked by the bread. You walked by the meat section. And you went up to the register. And you bought, I don't know how much the cat food was. Even if it was like a dollar for each can. That would have been three bucks. Dude, you can do a lot with three dollars, dude. Especially in 2004. Okay, look. She wasn't dumb. I wasn't happy that she died. But it was a show. Okay, don't get me wrong. I just thought that this was a terrible, terrible way to relay like it just showed me how dumb she was right and then she got hit by a car and the guy drove off i don't know if they saw the crime or not after i seen that shit i was like really really disappointed i think it's time anyway i don't know what it is but after you basically just said that got that some more cucumber because i love cucumber is there and no one else like there's literally nobody else down here trying to eat this shit up like she literally is just in here by herself body slamming this shit by herself he's from all day so i'm just gonna take up a little, little block of it off like that a few croutons okay um i also want to take a couple of strawberries strawberries <coughs> yep but it's there all night anyway football not on now so um yeah that's mine so here is it's a lot becky it's a lot yeah she do got that pate dude she does got that pate it's mine so the football's on tonight so we're all going to be watching the, the football the football um, football drinks and is that your dog hanging from your necklace then I'm not even hating on it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I have the cheese board, but I love you all and I hope love you too. Love you too. Love you too, Becky. Sunday love you too. Sunday and Father's Day if you're celebrating today as well. But yeah, love you all. Love you. Hi everyone, and welcome to my what are you in a day on Father's Day. So to start off the morning, I made some sausage and egg on toast. These were the sausages that I got from Costco, and to be completely honest, I prefer Morrison's ones. It was still very nice then. I also okay. made myself a cup of tea and I made my dad a coffee. I, I don't even I don't even understand why Becky bro, she literally doesn't have pores on her skin. I I, I don't know why like if you're gonna do a filter, can we at least try to make the filter a little bit more realistic? Like this shit is literally blending your eyebrows into your skin at this point. It just it's impractical. It's really impractical, dude. Have a better filter, one that's more realistic. And it's just so jarring, dude. I don't even see creases on her fucking face anymore. And I know she does have them because people have sent me pictures of her. Like I was saying before, though, I hear her say this all the time where she goes, it's not the best. It's obviously not as good as this. I don't like this as much. I always think, I get it. Like, you can have preferences towards certain things and it's okay to eat the lesser version of that because you have it. But for somebody like Becky, I, I, I just don't understand why she even has, like, bars in terms of like what i like to eat the most because our girl literally just eats whatever the fuck she wants whenever the fuck she wants she has no rhyme or reason to it she just sees it and buys it and gets it or she gets sponsorships and then she eats it there which is fine get your sponsorships girl whatever it's just really crazy to me that like it'd be like a crackhead getting sponsored to go to a weed store and test out their new variant of crack you know what I'm talking about? Like, oh man, we heard you got, we heard you have an addiction to cocaine. Come on through. You know, you you don't even have to suck dick for this kind. We'll just give it to you. You know, you're gonna go and you're gonna fucking do it because you got an addiction. But that is literally that. Like, you're getting sponsored to eat cookies. You're gonna go get the fucking cookies, obviously, naturally. Then I tried these that I got from IKEA. I'm not gonna try and pronounce them, but they were vanilla flavor. I'll, hold on, I'll try to pronounce them. Then I tried these. Giflar. Gaflar. G I F F L A R. Gaflar. Giflar. These that Giflar. I got from IKEA. I'm not going to try and pronounce them, but they were vanilla flavor. I feel like with a cup of tea, these would have been perfect. Had a little perfect. drinky of Macapri Sun. Then for tea, I made the ultimate charcuterie board. Please tell me I said that it, right. Raising table. Cheese. Usually it's like if a charcuterie board is just a board that you put stuff on, not a fucking table. Nobody's ever had a charcuterie board that was the table itself. Cheese board, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it had everything on from popcorn, nuts, cucumber. Man, why, do you, why does she like, why does she brace herself so hard when she bites into stuff? Almost kind of like she's in pain when she eats it. Uh, soft cheese, hard cheese, salami, chorizo, pate. Like she's in pain. And I don't understand why she does this too. What are you doing, Becky? I've literally seen you eat like thousands of calories worth of food straight up mayonnaise butter fucking grilled cheese larva whatever on the side of your mouth and you're over here covering your fucking face calm down dude it's not that big of a you know what i'm talking about dude it, do it doesn't make any sense it's like 
It's like if you see, you ever see pornos where girls, when they're sucking dick, they do the thing where they move their hair to the side so you can see the meat slurping. You don't even have to do that. Like what you're doing is basically just covering your hair. Why does it matter? I know what's going down. Lots and lots, strawberries, grapes. And I honestly love tucking into this. And then the football was on, so. Damn, them strawberries, big, bro. Yeah, everyone just. That GMO, man, they always get me with that. They always say like, oh, GMOs are really bad. But I gotta keep it a buck with you, dude. If they're making strawberries literally the size of toddler's hands in bigger, I'm just kind of looking at that, and I'm looking at the non-GMO versions, which are not even half of what those are, and they're cheaper. I'm looking at that, and I'm going, dude, give me the radiation. I'm licking the walls of Chernobyl when I eat those BB, those giant nutsack-sized fucking strawberries, dude. The BBC cucumbers, the BBC fucking bananas, bro. I don't, bro, what are you talking about? You want me to spend $5 on a regular non-gmo banana when i can go and get like three pounds of that same banana that's literally double the double triple the size and i'm getting more food and it's, it's less valuable yeah bro give me the bbc shit themselves later on as well and of course i had some of my brucey cake with custard bruce cake we'll get into that i saw the bruce cake the bruce cake shit is in here if you guys don't know becky's been on a journey to get this thing called a bruce cake and she got one before. <laughs> uh, we did a video on that if you watched all the Becky videos. She did get a Bruce cake before. If you don't know what a Bruce cake is, it's a specialized cake in the UK. I don't fucking know personally, dude. I've never, uh, 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 never in my life been in America and thought, man, I got to go to this one place that sells this really good cake. I've never done that. Never in my life. I've never been to an establishment and thought that I have to get a particular item because it's unlimited supply or whatever the fuck it is and like hunted down a particular pastry or cake or food because like it's not worth it to me. I don't really give a fuck. But for Becky, she has been looking for this Bruce cake because apparently it's been selling out like crazy. I don't know if they're making it in short supply to increase the price, but she did get the dark chocolate version because apparently that's not as desirable as the milk chocolate version, but the dark chocolate version is obviously healthier, but not by much. Obviously, it's fucking cake, but she's been trying to get the milk chocolate version, and I think she did acquire it. I think she's been on the waiting list for months, which is crazy to even say. I don't even know how the fuck you even say that shit. Can you imagine like you're you're talking to your family, you have kids one day and your your son goes, "Bob, Bob, do you know when you were, like, my age? Or do you know when you were younger? Um, what is something that you were, like, really, really proud about? You know, like, marrying dad or maybe that one time you got your car or the time that you spent with your Bob. And then Becky's going to go, oh, my God, you're totally right. So, let me tell you, this one time when I was 32 years old, I I just, I went to, I went to this cake factory it was amazing i got the bruce cake it was so good the milk chocolate bruce cake oh my god it was delicious yes it was banging that's gonna be her not you know meeting dad not buying that car not spending quality time with your family the bruce cake that's gonna be her that is her this time and it just hits and it's got custard which is basically just warm milk it's gorgeous it... yeah here it is right here dude what do you guys think about that shit how much you think that shit was too much i don't know the exact price that shit was big as fuck though big as fuck in the price and big as fuck you only get a slice of it too you don't even get the full fucking cake but i guess it's kind of big enough since it's like a slight it, they stack that shit it's taste test time of the milk bruce cake she's she been on the waiting list dude she finally got it i'm interested in seeing whether wh whether she likes it or not i am be real disappointed if she don't like it so let's put some into a bowl warm it up this time and try it so excited guys damn you cutting a big slice on that shit that's a big don't say wow it's a fucking chocolate cake okay somebody let me know if you're from the uk or you've had a bruce cake yourself and you know about the cho the milk chocolate bruce cake let me know am i missing out do i not know what i'm fucking talking about dude She's been literally talking about this bruce cake for the last two months i'm not even joking dude i've been doing content on becky now for at least two months and she been talking about his milk chocolate bruce cake every other video, it seems like. Oh my god, I can't wait. She's literally showing the queue, like, so, so, so she can get in there and order the bruce cake, which is crazy, bro. Can you imagine being in a fucking queue to buy a cake? You gotta be some serious big back behavior shit in order to sit in a queue for a cake. 
Smells amazing. Whatever, dude. Look. Damn, amazing. dude, you really holding that shit like that? Am I wrong? I don't think you can. I don't think you should be holding cake like that. I don't. I don't even think your hands should be placed on the cake. Can can we just talk about that for a second? There's an appropriate way to handle cake, and I feel like a lot of people are way too handsy with their food. I don't understand it personally. If the food is like not something you should be putting your hands on, you shouldn't be doing it. This doesn't make any sense. I don't know why the fuck she's holding it like this. Am I wrong? Somebody let me know. Right. Why are right. you putting it in a bowl? Warm it up now in the microwave. That's... I'm sorry to say this, dude. If you're sitting here and you've been trying to buy this Bruce cake for months and you finally get the Bruce cake and you're telling me you're going to warm it up in the microwave? <sighs> Becky. Becky. There's got to be a better place. You're warming this shit up in the fucking microwave, dude? Oh, that's all I need to hear. That's just coming out like rubber. I am so excited. Let's... Oh, guys. Let's oh. Try it. Ugh. Dude, shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you're not dancing, dude. You're not dancing. And you're not... You're not screeching like a little girl. Because you had some cake. I don't know. I don't care how good this cake is, dude. What are you doing with your life that you're sitting there dancing for cake? Let's try it. Wow. Shame. 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 Shame, Becky. Shame. You're dancing for cake? Oh, Becky. This is the... I can't... I can't... We can't do this, Becky. We can't do this. And why are you wearing this pink ass outfit, dude? Looking like Kirby. Why are you wearing that? Guys, it is. Dude, I'm she's literally so happy, bro. Almost kind of like she just found out she's pregnant and she's going to have children. But instead, she's eating a fucking Bruce cake. Amazing. I actually can't. Shut the fuck. That, that spoon is big as fuck, bro. Damn, man. These portion sizes are insane. Wow. It's not that good, dude. Wow, wow, wow. Shut up. It's just amazing. I can't describe it. Frankie and Benny's chocolate fudge cake used to be my favorite. This just tops it. Damn. Mm. Okay, I'm Bro. so excited to try one of these. Um, you got more? Let's give one of these a whirl. What is that? Bro. What is she just spawning food to eat randomly? Bro, this girl gotta be stopped, dude. Look at this face. She took a bite out of this munchkin. And she's done. She's over. Look at her face, dude. Look at that shit. The pure bliss. The ecstasy. Like, she just put her lips purely on ambrosia itself from the gods. The deities above bestowed her upon this meal. Nah. It's just some Bruce shit. It's just whatever. It's just some cake that you got at a factory. Bro, shut the, bro, I'm sorry, dude. I, I I just cannot believe a woman that's in her mid-30s is sitting here dancing for cake as if this is the best thing that she's ever eaten in her life. I get it, you waited for months to eat this cake, but this is, this is actually some serious problems, Becky, okay? This is the most movement I've seen you do in months, and the movement that you do is for cake. We gotta, we gotta make some serious lifestyle changes. I really feel like maybe you gotta do some things in your life to make yourself uh this is ridiculous becky all right there's no other way to say it than that you're dancing for cake that's an issue we gotta stop mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's a 10 out of 10 from no it's not no it's not it's not a 10 out of 10 stop lying everything's a 10 out of 10 to you everything what man hey. Bruce Bog Trotter is me. <laughs> if you don't like seeing the fat girl do a workout and then have chocolate waffles for breakfast, then don't. A workout and then chocolate waffles. I've never even heard of chocolate waffles before. So you had chocolate waffles and you coat it in Nutella? Why even bother having fruit on the side if you're going to coat it in chocolate too? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? That's like having cereal with water. Why are you doing that? This is the most irrelevant thing I've ever seen. You literally poisoned the you literally poisoned the fruit. The fruit is literally useless. Like the point of the fruit was to eat a little bit of calories that were like good for you cuz fruit is like really really low in calories, but then you poisoned it with the chocolate stains. 
can watch this can't, video. Can't do shit right, Becky. You can't do anything right, bro. <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome to my white in a day. So for my breakfast, I did have some chocolate waffles with some strawberries and blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> the waffles were so delicious. I've never had this kind before. I don't care, dude. Every day, it's always, I've never had this kind. I don't know how, dude, you're going to run out of, I've never had this kind before eventually, right? Like, you've been on this, I've never had this kind before every single day. Like, at this point, you're probably going to run out of shit by the time you're 40. Then for my dinner, I had some chicken satay sticks taken off the sticks with some rice and some Pyrenees. Okay. It was I don't know what that is, but sure. Did, you said you did a workout. How come you didn't show the workout? Were you just lying about that? What do you mean I did a workout and then you just don't show the workout? You couldn't like show yourself lifting a leg up or something? As well, and it was so delicious. Then I had some of these milk chocolate Why? butter biscuits. You already had the waffle that was chocolate. Why do you need more chocolate? I really want to know where you can get them graham crackers from, is it called? So I want to make my own ones of these. So let me know in the comments. Then for tea, I had salt and pepper, chicken and chips. Okay. It was so, so tasty. Damn, had peppers, French, French, onion. French fries with every meal, dude. Got, it's an issue. And the spices were just so perfect. Ooh, then when I was dang. watching Love Island, I had... Bro, how many... Bro, this woman's got too many too many choices for chocolate. She's obviously addicted. How many, how many calories is this? This is one pound, I'm guessing? One pound for this? And it looks like she already ate some. And then tea. It's, it's too many options here. I know she didn't go out and get it either. She probably ordered this. Am I wrong? Dude, this is like a pastry, right? Hundreds of calories easily. One of these marshmallow brownies. These are amazing. Bigger I'm than I thought. Way bigger than I thought. That is crazy, dude. I thought that was way smaller than it actually was. It, wow. It, 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 because like, okay, I'm sorry, dude. It's just like when you see it in her mouth, you realize that thing is ginormous. Massive, dude. Useless, by the way. Just no, all these calories are doing nothing. I don't care how good your workout was. You can't outwork a bad diet. If you're sitting here body slamming like 5,000 calories a day or more and you did a workout that consisted of you just moving your body for a few minutes at a time, that is literally nothing because you just destroyed your diet with thousands of extra calories on top of that. It, like At that point, you might as well not even worked out. Morrison's. Big shout out to any Morrison's baker that break, bakes these. Had a cup of tea also. Cool. But I'm loving Love Island so far. I this love season. it. I okay. love. I love. Love. Love Island. Please, guys. Please don't be going in on any Islanders, Damn. especially about their looks. Or Let me know if you guys have this sensation. I have a meter in my mouth. In terms of a mouth meter, hold up now. That kind of sounds a little bit crazy. That did, that did sound a little bit crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Mouth meter. Okay. I can't eat that much like sweet stuff because like my mouth will eventually hit a, a pinnacle where I can like no longer taste anything. If that makes any sense, like I, like the sweets become all consistently just one thing, and I just can't taste anything anymore. And it's just not worth it anymore, you know. Like maybe when I was a kid, and I just didn't really care about myself, and I just ate whatever was there, and like it didn't matter. But being an adult, I just and you feel bad too. I don't know if Becky has those days where she eats just really terrible, disgusting slop and like feels bad for like two hours after that because i can guarantee you i've had a lot of those moments where you eat really bad stuff and then like an hour later you feel like you're perpetually like garbage like you feel like you're grover from sesame street you know depressed you got a headache probably you're greasy now your armpits are staining themselves you smell like i don't know a caterpillar there's like a whole bunch of things wrong with you so, I don't know if Becky has that issue, dude. I, I would bet that she does, but maybe she just, like, finds a way to, like, surpass it. I don't fucking know. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's, like, her default now. Like, she just got used to it. Body types. Just not fair that they get slated. Everyone has an opinion on that. Hold up. <laughs> but please, guys, please don't be going in on any Islanders. Especially about their looks or body types. What? Just not fair that they get slated. Everyone has an opinion on them. But just don't be nasty with it. It's a Sunday, what are you in a day at dancing? So for my breakfast before we went, I had some sausage patties. On she's not She's not going to dancing, by the way. She's literally just going for her, like, cousin or something like that. I don't understand why she says that as if she's doing any type of exercises or dancing herself. No, she's just going to go there, sit down, eat, and watch her person dance while she records herself doing those things. Some English muffins. 
these are always my go-to breakfast before dancing then when i got there I thought, Ooh, I space, space invaders space dude gotta get the space so invaders I had these, and then a little bit later on i had my apple cheese and grapes i can't hate on it for that when i was younger it would be better if you could make it yourself those things those pre-packaged like fruit snack bowls those things are way expensive compared to you just buying apples, oranges, peaches, whatever the fuck, and then just putting it together on your own thing. Way cheaper. Just to think, why does cheese go with grapes and stuff? But now I'm older, I definitely understand it. Felt like I was going to choke then on the apple. <laughs> then I had some of my mini Ritz crackers. Also, people are... Damn, how long... I always wonder how long she's sitting here watching this happen. Like, it's got to be like, what, an hour, two hours at most, man? She real deal be eating, like multiple times in that hour hour and a half bro listen go on my instagram right now i got pictures of me standing next to a whole bunch of animals and other things like that because i went to the zoo i went to the zoo okay from the time of about 12 to about four or five and i didn't eat anything in that time period you know why because i don't need to i'm good okay now granted i was hungry when i got back home because i was obviously walking all day and it was a very eventful day and i looked at a whole bunch of things but the point I'm making is, if you can't, like, exist for more than a few hours without having to eat, that's an issue. You should not have that problem. You should you should be able to, like, exist for a long period of time and then go, I can eat later. Because as a human being, you have the ability to reason and understand that your meal can come later and it doesn't have to be right now, right? So when Becky, when I see her body slamming copious amounts of calories like this for no other reason than just being bored, is it's concerning. So used to me recording it, dancing. They don't even question it anymore. <laughs> then I had another more bag of space invaders. invaders dude. I honestly love these. Love them. It's got to be the beef ones. That's got to well. be it, right? Then for my dinner, I damn had dude. It's like she has all this food with her, dude. All this fucking food. I wonder where this shit's even coming from. She's like spawning it out of nowhere, like fucking Bugs Bunny reaching into his back pocket and he pulls out like a mallet. Hers is literally reaching into the pocket and just pulling out bottomless carbs. I had my chicken tikka pasta with the mayo in, but I didn't have any forks with me, only Paige's little one out of her pasta. So yeah, I had to wait literally all day for this. <laughs> then I yeah. had my caramel... Jack Why do you still have more? How much more do you need? How long are you here? Why are you still eating, bro? It's not. You're not even doing anything. You're just sitting down watching your cousin dance. Why do you need all of this food? It's so much food, and all you're doing is sitting down. Giant buttons, and let me tell you, these were amazing. They couldn't be that really, good. Really, really enjoyed them. Oh, and then my friend had these God fruit God damn, there, Becky. And they were so, so yummy. So Your friend gave you food too? Why? You didn't need it. Thank you for letting me have one. <laughs> then for my God damn! Becky! What are you doing? Becky! I had an Indian takeaway and oh. it was insane. I had the butter chicken Bo and shami kebabs. Hi everyone, so I have got some Domino's cookies oh. for the cream egg. Why do you need a Domino's cookies, bro? Look how happy she is too, dude, eating these fucking cookies. They're just cookies, and they're Domino's cookies. The Mino's cookies are literally just made like once a day in the morning time, and they just sit out perpetually for hours until some gullible fucking cuck comes in and decides they're going to eat those four fucking hour, eight hour fucking cookies. Okay. Ones. Oh, <laughs> They look sloppy. Why does Becky not care about the presentation? The presentation of food is one of the most important parts of eating food. If the food doesn't look good, I don't think it's worth eating most of the time. Or like, I'll still eat it if it's if I make it, it's fine. But if you if you go to a restaurant and the food doesn't look good when you get there, what's the purpose? Can you stop? Can you actually make the food more presentable, please, a little bit? You got two. Sloppy. The driver got hungry on the way. I don't get two. Did she say the driver got hungry? Hold up. <laughs> you got two. I said the delivery driver got hungry on the way. I don't get two. Anyway, it got the cream egg one. She ate that third one, right? Are we not like? Are we gonna believe that the delivery driver ate one of her cookies, or are we gonna work under the assumption that? She body wanted them before the video started, right? The same thing with the whole, oh no, somebody ate my salad. 
oh no, I couldn't carry all this stuff, even though literally I'm carrying literally double or triple what the honest stuff is. So like, like it's a lie, right? Obviously, she ate that third cookie. Can we disagree on that? Okay. Um, to try because I've been wanting to try them. So yeah, I thought we'd give them a go. Why are you trying it though? Like, I I just don't understand. Like, I get maybe you you wanted to try it, but like, why? I, there are plenty of things that I want to try too, but I'm not going to because it's not worth it for me. And just because you haven't tried it doesn't mean you should try it. Like, for instance, I've never tried to put my lips upon a phallus before. So that doesn't mean that I'm going to just go and suck off random guys because I've never done that. The same way for Becky. Like, I don't care that you've never tried Domino's cookies. I didn't even know they made cookies at Domino's, dude. That's crazy. And the fact that you, like, I don't know what, you, like, drove by and saw they had cookies were like, oh... Oh my god, I have to try it. I have to. Why? Why, Becky? Why? So, um, actually, I'm going to cut it to see what Dude, it Dude, it literally... Did you see that? It left the paper still on there. Watch. We give them a go. So, um... I it had the paper still on it, dude. Those cookies are fermented. Actually, I'm going to cut it to see what it's like. See if it, let's see if it's got an egg pop. Can you see that one there? Oh, it's not as... It's, it's crusty. <laughs> oh, oh, it has... It has what? Hang on. Ugh. Little one. Ugh, bro. Damn, that delivery driver done, might have done a little bit more to these cookies than just eat them, bro. He looked like he left a surprise in that shit. Ugh. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been wanting to uh, cream eggs. I love cream eggs, honestly. Ugh. I love Domino's cookies. So inside a Domino's cookie, let's see. Ugh. What do you mean you love a Domino's cookies? You just told me you never had them. What the fuck are you talking? You lying to us? You just told me you never tried. You wanted to try them. By by saying I wanted to try them, that implies that you've never had them before because you're trying them, right? You can't try something more than once. What the fuck? Okay. Whatever, Becky. I mean, you just basically lied to us and then like Freudian slipped your way into telling us the truth. Oh my god, it's so good. Even though it doesn't really taste like anything. Dude, mm. whatever, bro. Bro. Oh, my gosh, guys. Dude. Melted chocolate, cream egg. I feel like I'm in heaven. What are you talking about, man? Can you get on a fucking diet? Can you actually take care of yourself, Becky? How many times are you going to say you're in heaven? You're in heaven for from eating some, what, like some fucking... 40 fucking cookies that were made a day like these shits have been sitting out in the sun the fucking the driver literally busted nuts inside of your cookies and you're over here talking about that's just good as fucking your mouth that's just heaven how many times you gonna feed your mouth with this slot before you realize that shit's gonna take a toll on your life you gotta this gotta be an intervention is there no one in your life that actually cares about you there's gotta be somebody that's gotta step in and say something damn two biting that shit's crazy mm. it's not that good dude I definitely understand why this term because you can literally halve these because I don't think I'm going to manage that over half because a bit sickly, but they're honestly like oh, the cream egg in it is like, it must just be a cream egg inside, melted. How are you going to tell me you can't eat the other half and then proceed to eat the other half? Is she talking about the other cookie? Does she think that two cookies is like one cookie and that she's judging one cookie as a half? Mm. Okay. But honestly, 10 out of 10 for that. Now, whatever, bro. Whatever. You literally said the Bruce cake was a 10 out of 10. And now you're telling me Domino's cookies are a 10 out of 10? I don't give a fuck. I don't care. This woman has no rating scale. Don't believe anything this woman says. She literally doesn't give a fuck. All this food is the same tasting shit. Her taste buds are gone. They've been obliterated off her fucking tongue because she's been eating this slop for the last like 20 years of her life and has no remorse for herself. Literally doesn't even care. I don't even know why she has fingers anymore. I'm surprised that she hasn't chewed them off because she eats so sloppily. But you know what, guys? I care for you. I love you. You're such an amazing person. If you watch the video in its entirety and or, sorry, yes, if you watch the video and you're here right now, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in pen. This is a pen for a device, but do you guys like it? It's pink. It's pink. Pink. Yeah, it's pink. But anyway, guys. 
yeah, write pen down below or pink pen down below, and I'll know I'll acknowledge how much of a beautiful person you are. You are a beautiful person. You're a smell good, amazing, beautiful person. Obviously, you would be a part of the Avengers because you're so powerful. Powerful more than just one way. Uh when you walk, I feel like you're so angelic that if you started walking down the street, like grass and flowers would sprout up where you walked because you're so angelic. You're so incredibly divinity. And it's so amazing that you are able to take care of yourself, lubricate yourself, enlarge your personality to ensure that other people see you for who you are, become more of yourself, which is very difficult. I know that it's very difficult for people to, uh, you know, like be. It's difficult for a lot of people to be secure in themselves. And I love that you are secure in yourself. You're such an amazing person. I care for you deeply. Let me know what you guys think down below about the Becky video today. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord. All that stuff will be linked down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.